Hi everyone, thanks very much for tuning in to Smash Facts here at TV once again. My name's Natalie Adams. Today we're going to have a look at improving your footwork during your golf swing um, and especially transferring your the pressure out of your right foot into your left foot on your downswing if you're a right-handed golfer. So it's really important uh, to get your, your feet working well that when you swing back you should be pressuring into your right foot so we want to see about 80 percent pressure into that right foot and then to start that downswing we want to be uh, moving that pressure towards the target into the left foot so you're now taking moving the pressure out of that right foot and into that left foot uh, so that would allow you uh, impact to be predominantly pressure into your left foot as you're striking the ball rather than if predominantly you're in your right foot with your pressure you're going to tend to flick at the ball hit fat shots and struggle to control um, the club face as you go through because you're not able to rotate your body from the correct position so this is a, a great little drill to help you with this um, what you want to do is just get a squeaky uh, tennis ball so it's a dog toy um, so it just makes a squeak when you uh, squeeze it in but not only does it make a squeak when you squeeze it in it also makes a squeak when you release it and that's the important bit for us so what I'm going to do with this I'm just going to place it under my right heel and towards the slightly on the outside of my right heel and I'm just going to squeak down on it so that there's no uh, Pressure, so, all, so my pressure is going to go into that ball so the ball's not inflated. So when I swing back, I'm pushing down on that ball and then to start my downswing, I want to unsqueak that ball. Okay, so I want to reinflate it to help my feet learn how to work correctly. So swing to the top and then get the squeak and work on getting that squeak back into that ball. So if we watch it from this way on, Okay, so if I swing back, we want to work on getting that squeak back into the ball before this left arm has dropped below horizontal, okay? Because that shows shifting the pressure out of this right foot, moving it into that left foot, really driving the pressure towards the target. So it's going to give you a much better impact position and you'll anchor into your left leg more so you can rotate around that um, as you play. So this now gives you audible feedback as to whether you're doing the right thing or not as you set up. So just position that ball under, the, under that right heel, squeak it to get rid of that squeak and then we want to hit the golf ball but we want to hear the squeak before we strike the golf ball. Okay, so that'll show you that you're transferring the pressure out of your right foot really effectively, get it moving towards uh, the target, get that pressure more into your left foot. But it'll give you a lot of feedback as to uh, if you're doing that at the right time. As I said before, you need to be getting that pressure moved out of your right foot and into your left foot by the time that left arm is parallel to the floor or horizontal. But it will start to help you hit much more consistently you'll hit a much more solid shot you'll see you'll get a lot more power into your golf shot with that it's a game-changing golf pick 